Chapter 8, Enchantments of India. For Chris and the kids, the magical wheelchair had become an integral part of their lives, taking them on adventures that never failed to teach them something new. Once they hit the destination button, they were engulfed in a kaleidoscope of colors, a cacophony of noises, entrancing aromas, and an indisputable vivacity. They stepped into a bustling marketplace where the sound of distant music, horns blaring, and voices negotiating prices permeated the atmosphere. Everyone was taken aback by this unexpected location, but Fletcher in particular. Because of his friendship with an Indian classmate, he developed a mild interest in India. The kids were once again taken by surprise this week when Uncle Chris brought them to India. They made a big splash when they got to the market. A lot of different things, like clothes and decorations that sparkled, came out of the booths, as heaps of turmeric, pepper, saffron, and many other spices were used to make a hypnotic tapestry of color, they inhaled the fragrant spices. Although the fruits they ate had names that were hard to say, each bite was a rainbow of tastes they had never had before, from sweet to sour to everything in between. The kids were free to run around in this great bazaar as usual. The locals were startled to see these strange people dressed so fancy, but they quickly got used to it. India was very popular with traders because it was in the middle of the trading network. They were asked to lunch by a trader named Ram. In front of them was a huge platter and they sat cross-legged on the floor. The youngsters thought it was cool because the platter was crafted from banana leaves. Delicious breads, aromatic rice dishes, and curries were the main courses of the banquet. With every bite, you can taste a new combination of tastes. As they ate with their hands amid lively discussion and laughter, it was a touching and reassuring sight to witness genuine hospitality at this community dinner. When they got to Agra, the vendor Ram told them about an interesting building that was being built near the bazaar. The kids didn't get it, even though Chris knew a lot about it. The group chose to go on a trip to the Taj Mahal, a place famous for its beautiful architecture and mesmerizing love story. They were shocked to see this building filled with light. Emperor Shah Jahan loved his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, very much, and this beautiful building showed how much he loved her. Their tour guide was an emotionally charged man who spoke with an intensity that made the marble monument seem to breathe as he told their story of love and history. Even the wheelchair couldn't escape the enchantment of this place. Suddenly, colorful fabrics appeared on its handles, seemingly out of small bells adorning its wheels, creating a melody with every movement. The highlight of their visit turned out to be a surprise. They found themselves amidst a festival, the Festival of Holi. It was an event where vibrant colors filled the streets along with music and dance. The wheelchair blended in perfectly with its decorations as they were swept away by the festivities. They danced joyfully even took part in a parade while their wheelchair rolled along as if they had always belonged to this world. They showered colors at each other, and people around them didn't care about any of them. It was an atmosphere of fun and adventure. They were beneath the sky, surrounded by chants and rhythmic drum beats, that they felt an unexplainable connection to this place. The time passes as someone has pressed a button on Fast Forward. The group felt the need to go back to their home after the sun left the sky empty for the moon. They all circled around Chris and headed back to the bazaar. Their guide Ram accompanied them. I guess it was your first time visiting India. Where are you guys from and what is this vehicle that you are traveling on? Ram pointed towards the wheelchair and asked Uncle Chris. We are from a faraway land and this chair was a gift from my father. Even I don't know how it works. Chris maintained secrecy about himself and his wheelchair. Ahan, you know the festival we celebrate. It is called Holi. It is one of the most important festivals in India, and you were lucky to have been part of it. Ram explained about the Festival of Colors. I knew about it, Fletcher added. My friend is from India, and he had told me all about the Holi Festival. I wanted to celebrate it, and now I did. Ellie wasn't able to hide her excitement. Her color's adorned face was glowing, and she said, I love this festival. It is one of the best festivals of all time. When they reached the bazaar, they said farewell to their friend Ram and carried on their journey. 
After reaching their destination, they took their magical flight back home. In Chris's living room, Marie stood with disapproval on her face. The colors, couch, and carpet were her headache, which she had to clean after the gang had left. Marie going to the storeroom was thinking that she would forbid these time-traveling shenanigans now, but saw the small kids gathering tools to clean up. She smiled and allowed them to carry on the good work.